know it's nice and soft. All right, yes, my room is a mess. Let's turn this way. There we go. All right, so it is about 8.30 right now on a Saturday morning. I'm going to whip up a pre-workout meal, get some feel in me, and then we're just gonna hit the gym. I wanna knock some things out early. I wanna get some shit done. So let's get productive. Pre-workout meal coming up right now. All right, so I have English muffins and I also have croissants. Now to me, these croissants are like five times better. All right, so for the sake of enjoying my full day of eating, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up one of these croissants. These are the Jimmy Dean croissants. If you haven't seen my grocery haul video where I explained uh, all my groceries, I want you to go check that out. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw this in there for about 70 seconds. Now I also have these spinach egg white frittatas right here. So they're really, really small, but they're only worth 70 calories. So again, for the sake of enjoying this full day of eating, I'm gonna go ahead and bust out two of these, throw them in a the microwave, and we'll see how it turns out. mandatory to have my coffee in the morning if you aren't drinking coffee i mean you don't necessarily have to but coffee will help you more than you think all right so this is a pre-workout meal so i definitely need more carbs than what i had right here which is the two frittatas and the jimmy dean croissant so right here i have some pro oats i have protein and some oatmeal also put some syrup in here this is the fiber and protein oats so we're looking at about six grams of protein in the oatmeal itself. And then I put in 25 grams of protein powder. The link is downloaded in the description box on the protein that I'm currently using right now, which is the Extend. And then for the carbs, of course, we have about 28 to 30 grams of carbs in the oatmeal itself. The protein powder gives it a little bit more. And then also we have a little bit of fat in here as well. After consuming all of this, I will need to let it digest for at least 60 minutes before I go to the gym, but that is okay because I have things to do. I have to wash some clothes, which I forgot. I'm also going to watch some YouTube videos while I'm eating. I know I'm not the only one who does that, but first let me go ahead and give you a taste test on these pro oats. I went with the maple brown sugar oatmeal and the chocolate lava. I think chocolate lava cake, I think that's what it's called. This is super good. Adding that syrup in there takes it up a notch. This right here is my favorite though. This croissant right here, nice and soft. Remember, not all processed food is bad. What you don't want to do is consume too much processed food in your diet. Having one meal that's processed, maybe two meals that's processed, is not that bad, okay? Just make sure you're making wise decisions. Then we have the frittatas right here. These are egg white and spinach. Tastes like Starbucks. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and then I'll catch you guys at the next meal. team it has been about 45 minutes since our last meal it's time to work out so i want to get my pre-workout in and i normally take it about 20 to 30 minutes before i actually work out 
This is what I'm currently using at the moment. This is the C4 Ultimate Pre-Workout. Link down below in the description box. Save you some money. 20% off X Factor 20. This is the extreme pre-workout right here, all right? Super effective. I highly recommend it, which is the only reason I'm even bringing it to you guys. I only do one scoop. Fresh cold water. Sour Patch, super good. Workouts. We hit the weight room, we went outside, we got some calisthenics in, and we also got out some cardio. Did a little interval style, kind of high intensity. I mean, you can take it at your own pace, but uh, we'll call it hit. So it is hours after our first meal, which was the pre-workout meal. So now it's time for the post-workout snack, and then we move on to the meal after I shower up. So first thing I do, I don't chug a protein shake at the gym or immediately after my workout. I normally wait about five, 10 minutes because I come back to the room. So right here, I have my whey protein. This is the Extend, link in the description box. This right here is whey isolate. It is lower in fat, lower in carbs, tons of protein, tons of other great nutrients. So this is why I take this. This is the chocolate lava cake. You actually saw this in the first meal because I put it in the oatmeal to make the pro oats. So I do two scoops of this, 50 grams of protein, and also for the simple sugars, I like to take in some pineapples. So I love fruit post-workout. Normally it's banana. I've been doing the pineapples lately because they're just super good. And this right here is the snack. So after the snack, we then consume the post-workout meal, which will have a nice amount of carbs, protein, and a little bit of fats. So I don't drink the juice in the pineapples, just way too much sugar. The fruit itself has enough sugar for me. Super good. All right, post-workout meal, time to go down. We got turkey breast right here. This is turkey breast and gravy. This is the Hormel brand, if that matters. But this right here is fresh turkey, all you have to do is refrigerate it. When you're ready to eat it, you throw it in the microwave for about five minutes and it's ready to go. So again, this style of protein is already cooked. So super clutch. All right. So with that, I'm also gonna have some rice. I'm gonna go ahead and carve up, get some good rice in. This whole packet right here, 76 grams of carbs. So I'm doing the Uncle Ben Basmati. This is my favorite brand and my favorite style of rice. So all you do with this is open it just a little bit and we're gonna throw it in the microwave for 90 seconds. All right, so the turkey is right here. I'll show you a little bit of how it looks. Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't. We got three slices of turkey, actually four. Four slices of turkey. Then we'll go ahead and put our rice right here on the side. And this is what we're looking at. So all the basmati rice right there. Then we have the turkey and we have gravy. I've had this before, it's super good. I definitely recommend the turkey breast uh, Hormel already cooked. If you're a lazy chef like me. <laughs> all right, Fatty Fitness team, I'm gonna go ahead and get this meal down. It's pretty hot right now. I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick, quick taste. Try not to burn my mouth off. That was hot. I'm gonna go 
ahead and get this down. And then we're just gonna move right to the next meal. All right, X-Factor Fitness team, it is getting close to the end of the day, which means the remaining calories are getting smaller and smaller. We had some large meals today. Pre-workout meal was pretty large and the post-workout meal was pretty large, both for about 700 calories. But normally I'm consuming anywhere from 24 to 2,600 calories a day. That's giving me about 200 grams of protein, about 300 grams of carbs, and about 60 to 70 grams of fat. So for the last meal of the day, I decided to pull up to Panda Express. So if we're talking about healthy and we're talking about fast food, Panda Express is one of the go-tos for me. I keep it very, very, very simple. Normally, I just go in there and I get teriyaki chicken and white rice. If I'm feeling like splurging on my calories, I throw in some noodles and some fried rice. But for today's calories, I cannot afford all that. So what I have, again, is just some grilled teriyaki chicken and some white rice underneath. Super good. And yeah, sure, you can add a few extra calories with the teriyaki sauce, which I always ask for extra. Gotta have some extra sauce for the chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in, show you guys what we're working with. Again, this right here is one of my go-tos when I'm out with fast food and eating on a diet. Sometimes I get crazy with the sauce, but it's okay. Panda Express has some of the best grilled chicken. This right here is only 400 calories. All right, team, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Back to fitness team we are back back in the room it was a long day but we have our final treat none other than some Krispy Kreme donuts and they are actually not hot the light was not on so I wanted to come back to the room put them in the microwave and have them all nice and warm All right, Expected Fitness Team, I am done eating for the day. Macros, calories, everything is on the screen. You saw it all. Look, eat what you want to eat, but at the end of the day, I need you guys to track your calories, track your macronutrients. That is going to be the best way for you to reach your ultimate goal, earn the best physique that you can. You have to account for calories in, calories out. It is a thing. So stop eating all that garbage, fix your diet up, get your training on point, and let's just keep getting better. Check out some of my other eating videos right here. I got challenges over here. I have a lot of fitness and diet tips right here. Subscribe to the channel. Join the S-Factor Fitness team. And I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. I'm going to catch you in the next one.